the protocols involved with that. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. As directed by the Prime Minister two weeks ago, we've worked with the Ministry of Health and also sought certain advice from the Attorney General. And from the 15th of November, which is next weekend, we're going to be introducing the following guidelines with respect to repatriate, repatriating persons to Trinidad and Tobago. So from next weekend, on the 15th, we will be requiring persons entering Trinidad and Tobago to have a negative PCR test 72 hours before entering Trinidad and Tobago. This is an international travel protocol that has been going on. M most of our CARICOM neighbors have already introduced this. So from the 15th of November, we will be requiring persons coming into Trinidad and Tobago to have a negative PCR test within 72 hours prior to entry. Upon getting into Trinidad and Tobago, we will still require persons to go into state quarantine, which is where the state covers the cost, or state supervised quarantine facilities for the next seven days. We will test persons who have entered with their negative PCR test on the sixth day of being here. And once you present your negative, that second negative, as we call it, on the sixth day when we test you, once you present thereafter, you'll be released and you can go home. How we're trying to increase the numbers of persons that we can manage, we've always said that this repatriation process depends heavily on the quarantine space that we have available. We have agreed to now introduce another facility as a state supervised quarantine facility. We've already started the preparations, had a conversation with them yesterday, and the Ministry of Health is on it today. This is the KPOC Hotel. It's going to give us almost an additional 100 rooms. And what I'm asking, Prime Minister, is the persons who may be fortunate enough to get into the queue to come home for Christmas, we're going to be asking as many of them as possible to utilize the state-supervised quarantine. So in other words, pay for the hospital, pay for the hotel, sorry, facilities for your seven days on arrival because it increases the amount of persons we can manage in our quarantine facilities. So we're adding the Cape Park Hotel, that is an addition to the Chancellor Hotel, Region Star Hotel, and the Cascadia Hotel. All of the other facilities will be maintained, as, and those are the state, the state quarantine facilities. And this adds an additional 100 rooms, and it, that multiplies, because of course if you have families, then you can have one family in one room, depending on the size of the families, etc. We will put on more flights according to our ability now to manage more persons in. We are going to continue the four flights, Miami, direct from Miami, direct from New York. We're going to add on as many of the Canadas as we can, and we may even move that around because the numbers left in Canada are very low right now. And, of course, Barbados. We will continue our weekly flights from Barbados, where a lot of our nationals are coming in from other jurisdictions. Prime Minister, if, if you would allow me... I'd like at this stage as well to thank all of the members of staff who have been managing this border system since March of this year. It has not been an easy time, especially those on the front line, and it would be remiss of us as the government not to thank them. That is the team at the Ministry of National Security, the team from the Ministry of Health, including the Port Health and the frontline workers, Immigration, Customs, the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, Civil Aviation, Airports Authority, GMRTT, that's the Ambulance Service, and to assure the population, Prime Minister, that the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, who have been on the front line since March without break or relaxation, will continue to do all that they can to maintain and to enforce the regulations. But honestly, it comes down to each person's personal decision to be able to to, to just do what you're supposed to do. All right, and what we'll do is, of course, when we're doing this new increase of repatriation system, if you can indicate when you're, you're, you're contacting the Ministry of National Security that families and persons who are willing to go into these rooms and into quarantine as a family and give us those numbers rather than us have, having to work it out, it allows us to bring home more people on each flight. And we expect that with this increase in quarantine facilities, as well as the number of flights we can then put on once it's done properly, that we will be able to assist. As the Prime Minister said, some, not all, want to come home. And then there are also those who may, 
maybe after the Christmas season, you can then come home after we've cleared that crowd. I mean, there'll be students coming as well. And one of the conversations we were having yesterday was just make sure and calculate your days correctly. This is the new system. You're coming in with a 72-hour negative PCR test, and you are going to go into quarantine for at least seven days. We'll test you on the six. So work out your date with Christmas and understand that if you come in at a certain time, that is seven days before, uh, before that period, before Christmas, you're going to spend quarantine in Christmas. All right? Christmas, Christmas in qu qu sorry, Chris, Christmas in quarantine. Thank you. Thank you, Minister.